I grew up in a really rural area, and so growing up, you know, there was a shortage of mental health professionals. It was really hard to find help for people, and so my goal was to go to school, to get trained, to come back to the rural area, and to provide those services to people that really need them. A lot of times clients want to come in and they just need to be heard. It's not always fixing issues, sometimes it's just being there and listening to that client and letting them know that their voice is heard. My specialty is marriage and family therapy. I do a lot of couples therapy. I like working with adults a lot. Women and women's issues is really important to me also. Communication is a really big thing for couples. Um, a lot of times there's a disconnect between what somebody intends to come across and how that person perceives it. So really teaching them what healthy communication looks like can help a lot. Sometimes couples come in more in crisis. Sometimes it's more to just work on the relationship and continue to build in the direction that they've been going. A lot of times normalizing how the clients are feeling. Sometimes they feel alone that nobody else has experienced that that can be really helpful for them. When working with couples, it is very important to let them know that I am a neutral party, to have that relationship and that connection with both. The relationship is the client, not one or the other. So letting them know, you know, we are on a common, common path to work towards a common goal, and that's important for them, I think, too.